Hey everyone, Zef here and welcome to Ultimax Overview. If I'll hear one more time someone using future of VR or future of anything, I'm gonna hit someone. Like it's such a cheap way of selling the game's concept to the public and thinking you're such an innovator in the gaming industry. If it works, sure thing, but it falters in the long run and sometimes it's better to be a little bit timid and reserved about your approach. Not me though. <laughs> so Ultimax is an action-packed arena soccer game where in teams of two or in solo mode you take on the futuristic rapid speed robots and dash across the stadium to score goals. There are some things unique for this title and some that repeat obviously. It's gonna be a free to play game alongside the optional battle pass and we don't really see that often happening like last time it was with Gun Riders but besides that it's not something that developers opt in for the official store release. It's gonna direct compete with Nock that we played earlier this year. Fortunately it's not the exact same concept and gameplay, purely because of the locomotion methods used. In Ultimax it seems to be more teleportation based or like dashes. I'm curious how it's gonna feel like inside the arena since it allows you to have high impact and fast paced action going on. It's just a little bit weird nowadays to be limited by stuff like that and not get full range of movement. Having said that the whole idea is around Rocket League of course, so it's not necessarily innovative but it's not a copy paste either. By definition and from experience resolution games produce high polished stuff, so I hope they know what they're doing and let's check it out! Not me! <laughs> Oh wow. Talk about epic entrance. Okay, tutorial. Pirate your ultimate to gain more points than your opponents. Use your rocket powered gun jets to get the ball into the goal. Press and hold the trigger to launch your gun jet, hit the target. Press and hold. Okay. Gun jets can be used independently, try hitting both targets. There can be short bursts. Oh, we can actually then steer in there, okay. And the longer it is, the slower it comes back. Interesting. I didn't know you would be able to steer it. Oh, what the... There is the skill part of it. Double punching wall. Yeah, but that's gonna be hard to aim. <laughs> <laughs> While flying, your gun jab rotate your... Yeah, yeah, I know. It seems easy, but it's not. Like, it depends on your hand, like, coordination. It flies fast as well. Oh, left is gonna be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Simple as that. Super goal. The super goal is on top is worth double. Oh, there are two. Max move at lightning speed between dash pads in the arena. You move in the direction that you point your controller. However, you cannot move to a dash pad that is occupied wall, obviously. Okay, we'll see in the gameplay how it's gonna feel. 
it's not terrible. Diagonally. Oh, you mean like we can't cross like double paths? You can get lost easily. <laughs> <laughs> That's some new gameplay for me. <laughs> Each meta model comes with its own special ability. Oh, you're piloting a Viper mech which carries the Hyper Strike ability. There are classes. Must first become supercharged. While your mech is supercharged, its stats are boosted. Destroys. Hold the group button, press the trigger to hyper strike the ball. So that's just a stronger punch. No. Hold the grip button. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> the frame skipped. <laughs> it was that fast. Teammate other Max as well. Bye. Oh. <laughs> the mosh Max are replaced after a short while. Can I like punch him with my normal fist though? I think so. Ow! <laughs> okay, match time. Do you do something? <laughs> it wasn't that hard. Also, essentially, who gets the supercharge wins. Especially with Viper, like. It's too strong. So it's like very fast paced gameplay. Move! Oh! Okay, well... That's awkward. I mean, I don't need to... play against him. Normal match is fine. The graphics, um, high quality, yeah, for quest standards, can't complain. We can customize our mechs with colors, skins, I think it's this ulti pass. Let's see how it actually is against a player. <laughs> 1v1 or 2v2? 2. It's gonna be just chaos.
somehow. <laughs> Okay, just let's calm down, because <laughs> that was so fast I could not even comprehend. I definitely found myself camping when I got the superpower to just aim properly and then destroy it. Like, I guess this is specific for Viper. Thing is that it definitely relies on skill, because the delays between the shots, the whole map movement is like crazy. I don't want to compare it to Nog because that's way different gameplay even though it's like in the same setting. It feels very fun being with someone else on the battlefield, that's for sure. It kinda seems chaotic but in an organized way if you know what you're doing. The matches are relatively fast, you actually need to think what you're doing. It's like lightning fast, they were not joking. There's no point in playing more, it's clearly is what it is. A really fast paced soccer with your fists. <laughs> For something that's free with this type of gameplay and quality, I have no qualms. It's great. <laughs>